Hi, my name is Frederick Chipkin. Today, my lesson is on how to color reduce a textile design. Color reduction is a process of preparing a design so the colors can be easily changed. Before you take this class, I strongly suggest that you take my free class called Adobe Photoshop for Textile Design, Part 1 The Basics, where I'll show you how to adjust Adobe Photoshop's interface and settings so they're best suited for textile design. When you first scan the design into the computer, it scans in at thousands or even millions of colors. We're going to take this large amount of colors and get them down to the most bare minimum. Now, on my screen, I opened up this beautiful design, Bouquet Fields. This design is in RGB color mode, which is almost always the default scanning mode. If you want to double check this, just go to Image, Mode, and look over here. See? RGB color mode. For your practicing pleasure, you can download Bouquet Fields at the link I provided for you on this page. So pause the lesson, download the design, and we'll continue. Now in this lesson, I'm going to teach you two techniques for color reduction. The first technique makes heavy use of the swatch palette. So I'm going to call it the swatch technique. The next technique is fast and easy and doesn't make use of the swatch palette at all. So we're going to call that one the fast and easy technique. Neither method is better than the other. I just feel that it's best to present you with all options and then you choose which technique you like best. After we've learned these two techniques, I'll show you how to further color reduce a design by combining color positions. So let's get on with the swatch technique.